All right, Shalom Akim is a high spirit we in Judah of the GMS Mississippi camp, giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shemi HaRashad, by Shemi HaKadosh. I also want to give it up an honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of the great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessed to the house of David the elect. Once again, I want to say Shalom to the Akim and you Akim, uh, you Akwa, all right, who are tuning in, all right? And I want to go into a lesson entitled Hellbound. Of course, I might change the title when I put the lesson up, but it's based on a series on Netflix, which is it's a hot series. It's a really good show from what I've been watching. I've seen maybe four episodes back to back already. All right. And it's a movie um, that was shot in uh, Seoul, Korea. All right. Seoul, South Korea. All right. And it's basically about the most high ministering judgment on the planet Earth. Now, there's a word called esoteric that the other apostle Gavar broke down years ago, and basically it says this, esoteric in a dictionary.com, intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest. So who's that small number of people that have a specialized knowledge or interest? It's the hopefully elect. Those of us who um, have this understanding, all right, of the will of Yahweh Hashem Abishai, the knowledge of who we are, all right, we understand the, the real Most High, how He administers judgment on the planet Earth, all right, through His angels, okay? Through His servants, all right, which are His angels, all right? So this movie is basically about ultimately the Most High administering judgment on the planet Earth by way of His His, his angels, man, okay? So face value, it could just be some major sci-fi movie, all right, some major sci-fi series, but we know those of us who are part of the esoteric, the brothers and sisters who are tapped in with this knowledge, who are enlightened, all right? Excuse me. We know that this series, all right, basically goes back to the scriptures and has a lot of depth and truth to it, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to get the scriptures, and this is, this is a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of dope, man. I have to admit, like, this is kind of cool to watch something and, and, and it's kind of understood how the Most High ministers judgment on the planet Earth, man. Okay? So, I'm going to uh, start at Psalms 103 and 20. It says, Bless Yahweh, ye his angels, that excel in strength. All right? Because his angels are not little naked, cupid babies with bow and arrows, man. His angels are are power. They represent power. All right? As a matter of fact, the, uh, the archangel... Uh, Micah Allah, or what we call Michael the Archangel, his name means who like the most high. Okay? So his angels represent power. Okay? Bless you. How will ye his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments? And it's literally his commands. When it says they do his commandments, the most high give them commands. And they execute those commands on the planet earth. Hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye, Yahweh, all ye his hosts. Who is his host? It's his angels, his army. You ministers of the hills that do his pleasure. All right? So what is his pleasure? Okay, what is the pleasure of Yahweh by Hashem All right, let's get the scripture that we got last night. Okay? All right? Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits, all right? that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. All right, that's doing Yahweh's commandments, executing his judgment. In the time of destruction, they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made them, that do his pleasure. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Here's the point. Verse 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment. There goes that word commandment again. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. All right. So going back to Psalm. All right. 103. All right. Could you see those key words being mentioned over and over again? All right. Psalms 103 and 20. Bless Yahweh, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless Yahweh, all ye his hosts, 
ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. All right, and we saw what his pleasure was. It was the judgments, all right? So that be spirits created for vengeance. What's another word for vengeance? This is judgments, okay? Bless ye, Yahweh, uh, Psalms 103 and 21. Bless ye, Yahweh, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Because the Most High regulates on the planet Earth. Okay, let me get that scripture. All right, place of judgment. All right, see if I can pull it up. Okay. Shirak 3 and 16. Just further proof that on the planet Earth, the Most High executes his judgments. Okay. Sirach, I mean, Ecclesiastes, excuse me. Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Now we see what the place of judgment is. All right. The wickedness was there in the place of righteousness. That iniquity was there. Okay. So that place of judgment is the planet Earth, okay? It's the planet Earth. Um, Psalms, now we're going to get in closing, Psalms 104. Okay, it says, um, Psalms 104, let me just start at the top. Bless Yahweh, O my soul, O Yahweh, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Who led the beam of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot. And let me see if I can um put it up in the in the um on the internet. All right, spaceship. Because the most high actually disguises his chariots, his vehicles, in clouds, man. Spaceship clouds. There you go. These are chariots, so-called UFOs, so-called spaceships, disguised in the clouds. Isn't that something? All right. The elites know what it is. You got two esoterics. It's us and the elites. And ultimately, it's us because we have the true knowledge, man. All right. That's fictional right there. These are Most of these are actual footages. Of chariots disguising, uh, disguising clouds, clothed in clouds. That's a, that's a beautiful one right there. Okay. Let me get that again. Psalms 104 and 2. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who led the beam of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers of flaming fire, all right? As it said in Sirach, all right? As it said in the book of Sirach, all right, because it said who maketh his ministers of flaming fire, all right? Let me get that again, all right? Uh, Sirach 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made them fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. All right. So going back to this series, okay, Hell Bound, which I think is a good series, although it has a plot twist, I think it sort of deviates from the purpose. And uh, forgive me if I just gave a spoiler. All right. But just on the surface in the beginning, all right, the most high was really sending out spirits of vengeance. Because, and it was known, and within this series, people were going off, man. All right? And that's what that's a prelude to the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> but with that, because hey, the Most High is about to start regulating. All right? But with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give all unending glory to you. How about some outside? By some of the dash, the honest, our elder apostles, and elder bishops, a great millstone, we well. Peace and blessed house of David the elect. A Baba Baal, come to Allah, Shalom, and a Habatham.